Hello everyone and welcome to a new virtual pet video. In this video I'm starting up a new series which is a uh, general virtual pet review series. Now I've previously reviewed things like the Nakocha and the Digital Monster version 20th but I haven't given them any uh, grading so let's grade them on in how much I enjoy them and their ease of use and we'll probably use a 10 point scale. So let's say the Nakocha is a baseline of, um, I'm going to say maybe one of how enjoyable it is and then maybe nine for difficulty, nine or ten uh, on the basis that it's just hard to know what's going on but I can't tell that's actual difficulty or if it's if it's just bad and it just it shouldn't be called difficult because it's bad but um and then meanwhile we have the digital monster version 20th which i would give an eight for how much i enjoy it and difficulty of let's say six i think yeah that sounds about right anyway so next up on the my review series or first up rather since this is the official first one I'm going to be talking about the Digimon IC, which is the Digivice IC, or Data Link as it's known in English. So I have four versions here. I have the version 1, so 10x. I have the version 2, which is 20x. I have the Data Link version 1, so this is the English release. And I have the Digivice Burst Japanese release. So I don't have the Burst of the Data Link. Uh, it is very expensive and... I just don't have it and it's just sort of it's hard to come by and when it does it's like five hundred dollars and I can't I can't justify that but uh, I, I would like to have the English version of the data link anyway so I'm actually uh, I put batteries on all of them at the moment uh, you may have noticed from my previous videos that I'm currently really running this one but I sort of started them up just so I could have something to talk about so we'll look at the version 1 and 2 at the moment. So let's look at the Japanese versions. So I press C to activate them. Uh, this one has gone flat or maybe I just put a flat battery on it. But uh, they're more or less the same. Oh, nope, it decided to be slow. So that's a complaint that I have about them. And it's probably my only complaint uh, is that waking them up with the C button takes a little bit of time. It's not uh, as instantaneous as other virtual pets when you press a button. And it wakes up. So anyway, we have Aquilamon and we have Jumbo Gamemon. So these follow a very similar way of running to the Digimon Axels, which I've mentioned in a previous video, and those basically get rely on DNA to evolve. So this is the same as the Axel. You can scan your hand, which is by going to the first option here, going to Digimon Digisoul and then you charge it and my hands are probably too cold there we are you scan your hand and then you get that's hot for example let's say holy dna and then we also have these plates which apparently i put too far away and these work in the same way as the xl plate so we'll just you place this on here you go to plate and i have these are really hit on hit or miss they're a bit thin so they don't always come up with something. I get error a lot and then like I'll adjust it or push a certain way and they'll work fine. Uh, they're very hit and miss. I'm not a big fan of of these. They don't seem to uh, work. I got this exact one working before and I'm doing the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't... You have to be very specific with how hard you press. So I've got a couple of these and uh, that one's from the version 2 I think uh, so this one was the one that came with it uh, but and that one came with the version 2 and I can't remember where I this one might have just come with the the burst then I don't think I had one that came with the data link so this came with the this one version 2 usually color coded but uh, yeah I don't know I can never get them to run and that's like another one of my complaints is that uh, it just the plates don't seem to uh well that was not going to work because that's digisol um the plates don't seem to uh work consistently 
uh, when you compare it with the XL, which is like you put the plate on, you select plate, and they go. Uh, I'm not sure if this just needs a bit of contact cleaner on it or if I need to put contact cleaner on these or what have you, but they're just, yeah, it, I'm not sure if it's because it's old or if it's just not very, uh, yeah, it just doesn't like it. So that that is a complaint. These plates are not necessarily important to using the device, so it's not like a huge drawback, but it's just something that's a little bit annoying that these don't work as uh, as well as they honestly could. Let's give it one more go. Yeah, they uh, so you can press hard and they'll work sometimes, but other times it just yeah. But the Digi Soul is uh, does the same thing, and as long as you, oh, my hands are too cold, and as long as you remember how what what, uh, what values you put in, you will always get the same one. So it's not too bad just using the Digi Soul option. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then obviously you feed it the Digisoul by going to Digisoul, and then I want to I want it to evolve to Lilamon, so I'm going to be feeding it the insect DNA. So what I really like about this, and what th this is a feature that I like about this more than the accelerator, is the fact that if we go to Stardust here. And we go to status, and in this icon here, you'll actually see a silhouette of which Digimon you'll, you're on track to get. And that's really helpful. So you can just sort of feed it some DNA, check this scene. And if it's a question mark, it means that you're not going to evolve to anything. Uh, there's no matching evolution. And the reason why I don't have any matching evolution at the moment is because it needs a certain number of Colosseum battles and it needs um, me to get reliability, which uh, is basically how you log your um, your care mistakes. So if you make a lot of care mistakes, it makes your right reliability lower. If you get no care mistakes, your reliability will it, I can't speak today. Reliability is uh, goes up without care mistakes. So. That's a nice feature that you can actually log the care mistakes and how well you're looking after your little friend. And I just love the amount of um, the stats that you get from that stat screen. It's a lot, it's a lot more helpful than uh, the previous Digivices or VPets. And uh, obviously another interesting thing to note is this is the Digivice. So it's not a pedometer, it doesn't shake, and it's not, a, not entirely quest-based, it's actually virtual pet based so these go to bed they rely on time you need to feed them they die they evolve depending on how you take care of them so another interesting thing to note is that it is um, a lot like the Tamagotchi connection in that you can go to shops and spend money that you get in the Colosseum and from these shops you can actually get uh, items and these items you can actually wear like you can make your Tamagotchi uh, Tamagotchi Digimon wear. So while you can also get weapons, which you wear in battle, uh, we go to, I think it's this one? Yeah, you can get an afro. You can get a, a, a dragon head. Oh, I haven't, I don't have money for it, so that's sad. But um, yeah, I just really, I love that so much. Uh, I can't remember how to, it's been a while since I accessed, no, that's a Colosseum. Uh, that is different. Oh, those are just different mini games, um, but you can actually wear these items, and yeah, it's it's like the Tamagotchi of uh, the Tamagotchi connection, where you can wear make them wear hats or funny clothes, and it's just really random, but it's so cute. Uh, you'll also notice that it is a three prong device. Now, I had my mini running yesterday. I've turned it off because. I realized something and that is the I can't get these prongs to work to, to connect to my mini or to anything with uh, with prongs so I mean I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong I'm definitely selecting the correct option I'm pressing B on one device not both and just nothing is happening so not a huge drawback because I've never actually used the prongs it might have always been like that but uh yeah, and I'm not going to count that as a drawback because that might just be because the device itself is faulty. So it's not a not a huge thing. 
And uh, however, there's another way you connect, and this is also like the Tamagotchi connection, is that we have IR. And this is in the same design as from the Digimon Savers TV series, and uh, it comes out through there. So this is how you connect to your other ICs. They connect like that, like the Tamagotchis. So that's why I said the three prongs not that important. In fact, if we look at the American release, they didn't include the prongs altogether. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll do probably do a little bit of a comparison video in another video comparing these because they're actually fairly different in functionality. This one I don't think I can even call a virtual pet, in fact, but uh, that's for another video. Anyway, so something else you can connect to. Uh, well, there's two other things you can connect to. One is the battle terminal, which I will just get to show you. So there's this, which is the battle terminal, and you swipe cards here, and the IR reader's there, and you plug it into your TV, and you can fight with either cards that you have, which is from the card ask game, or from the Digimon that you have in your IC. And that's fairly cool, it's two player. Um, maybe I'll do a quick let's play of it sometime. I've played it before, it's fairly fun actually. Um, uses batteries but you can also plug it into the wall and uh, yeah I'm kind of a big fan of it actually it's uh, fairly neat especially because you can put your Digimon on it but uh, the other thing is the Digimon Analyzer for Series 5 and that's the Digi Window so we look at this this is as I said the Analyzer screen for the season for Savers or Data Squad and uh, what you can see is there's a little Gilmon on the screen. And what this is good for is that it actually has mission mode. And uh, you turn that on, and it'll actually wait until a mission comes up. And then you can cancel out of it. But when a mission does come up, there's a couple of different mini games that you can do that involve numbers lighting up here in a, in a digital counter system, and then you're using the keypad. And you can usually unlock a Digimon. For you to put in your um, on in your uh, dad's team, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing I really want to show you is actually the connect functionality. So when you go here, you can choose to connect to the Digivice IC, or you can connect to your Ktai Denwa, your mobile phone. And what you would do is you would go to that website on your infrared phone, and you would line up the infrared reader here, and you can unlock special Digimon that were not available. Um, without it. Uh, obviously that website's no longer there. I have an infrared phone, uh, so if if anyone has any files, the source files for that, I would like to see them so I can uh, I can have a play around. But we've got a uh, we've got a mission coming up. So uh, this is pretty fun. So we, we hit yes, let's go to the mission. We'll go to the, the town and uh, where are we needed? Even, let me, oh, there we are. And then we go to the digital dive. And we're now in the digital world. And uh, there's Kunamon there. So Gilmon's... Okay. Now, I haven't played all the mini missions, so hopefully this is one I've had before. I don't think it is. Oh, this is a new one, I think. It's Grismon. Do I have to... I have no idea. This is a mini mission I haven't had. Oh, uh, Grismon one. Easy. Okay. It's one I haven't had before, but it's also one that is easy. So that one, it showed me a Digimon, and then it told me to guess which one it was, which is Grismon, which was option one. And uh, I was able to catch the Kunamon. And now I'm on standby with an Aquilamon. So, yes. Yeah, so let's go out of mission mode. And... You can go to connect, and then if I go to my Digimon IC, and uh, we'll go to the connect functionality. So it says battle, shop, which isn't really connecting, and then B terminal, which is what I just showed you, that little uh, home system. And then uh, it also connects to the analyzer with the B terminal. Except it didn't want to... Uh, Uh, 
Oh, I selected the Kate ID, didn't I? There we go. And now I've captured Aquilamon, even though I already kind of had Aquilamon. So let's see if this one wants to be alive. Yep, we wanted to be alive quickly that time. And uh, we'll go to B terminal, connect to IC again. And uh, there we go. And I've also unlocked a shop on the T2OX, which is the, because uh, I haven't connected, the Digi Shop. And I can get uh, Aura for 5,000 points. So yeah, that's the main functionality of the Digi Window. It says I've now got 20 Digimon because I hadn't got Jumbo Garmemon yet. And uh, yeah, so what you would do is that that's, and then you can see your team of three Digimon. Gilmon's tired because he just went on a mission. So you can actually switch that out. Uh, I did it the other day. I think it was file, that's file, all. And let's say I want to put Jumbo Garmemon in my team. Yes, and I will replace Gilmon because Gilmon wants a bit of a nap. And now I have a team of three Digimon who are ready to uh, go on a mission. So that's more or less the main gameplay of the Digi Window. It's pretty fun. I like the fact you can just leave it in mission mode and it'll randomly come up with missions. It almost makes it feel more like a quest-based device with your IC. I like the fact that it is you can put your Digimon on it and unlock your Digimon judging by how many Digimon you've raised there. It's fairly neat. Um, I really would like to uh, get that website working so I can get my infrared phone and unlock some more Digimon. But uh, yeah, so that's that. And then we have the burst, which is more or less the same in, time, in terms of uh, gameplay, except that to get Digimon and to battle, you have to do that. Uh, which I'm really bad at, and I'm not even going to bother showing you on the video, or maybe, maybe I will. I'm not sure if any training can do it. Uh, can't remember where training is. It's been so long. Training. So I'm really bad at this. Uh, you're meant to swipe this when with uh, each of these, but I can never get it working. I'm not sure why. I'm just terrible at it. Um, so you're meant to like swipe it as it goes past, but uh, yeah, I'm really bad at doing that. I don't have the hang of it. I don't know why. Obviously, I failed that training terribly. And this is actually why I don't really use my burst much, because I can never quite work out the, uh, the motion scanning movement there. But uh, yeah, I, every time I do work it out, I get it right for a couple of times and then I completely forget. And then I have to like retrain myself. So, um, yeah, I'm really bad at that, and that's why it's probably less enjoyable, because it's just annoying. Uh, so let's go to ratings. I won't include this yet, because I'll do a comparison video where I review it. I just wanted to uh, show that as an option in this video. So, uh, first of all, these two will get the same rating, because they are more or less the same, just with a different roster. And I will give them, out of 10, for enjoyability... It, that even is, is, is that even a word? I don't know. Uh, but it is now. So let's give these, I don't know, let's give them a 10. Um, and then ease of use, I'd probably also give a 10. Uh, it's not my favourite um, virtual pet, my favourite one. For some reason I would probably rank lower, which is the Digimon version 20th. Uh, okay, okay, let's just say in, enjoyability for the version 20th is uh, 10 as well. So maybe let's give this a... Uh, I don't know, let's give it a 9.5, but in terms of uh, ease of use, it's definitely, definitely I'd say like an 8. Uh, it's definitely one of the easier ones, probably the easiest Digimon virtual pet, in terms of it actually shows you what evolution you're getting. And then uh, for the burst, let's give this one a, um, a 6.5, because for this, basically. And in terms of how much I enjoy it, let's give it, uh, let's give it like an eight. So, yep, yeah, so that is my review. And then a bit of a 
lowdown on what the digi window is. So I hope that was enjoyable and informative and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!